So in this video, we will be looking at the hammer candlestick pattern, which is a pretty simple pattern, but that doesn't mean that it's not powerful. It is a very useful pattern. And in this video, we will take a quick look at how does the pattern look like? How do we spot it? And also take a look at a real life example of a hammer candlestick. Last but not least, before we start, I have to give a quick disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only, and nothing in this video is financial advice. All right, so here on the screen, we have two hammers, and let's take a quick look at what defines a hammer. So a hammer should have a small real body and a long lower shadow. And the real body is this wide part of the candle, and shadows are the longer longer part and the lower shadow is the shadow that is below the real body so in this case you can see we have a small real body green real body and we have a long shadow in general in order for it to be a hammer candle we want the lower shadow to be at least twice the length of the real body and as you can see here a hammer candle can be both green and red. One could argue that the green one is a bit better than the red one, but both are definitely counted as hammer candles and both are valid hammer candles. And the difference between the green one and the red one is basically that the green one closes up here and the red one closes down here. And what does the hammer candle actually tell us? Well, it is considered a reversal candle. It is a reversal pattern, so it indicates that the price might reverse. But, but one very important thing when it comes to the hammer candle is that in order for it to be a valid candle, it needs to come after a price decline. So we can say here, must come after a decline. So, so let's say we have a hammer right here. I hope you can see down here in the corner. In order for it to be a valid hammer, prior to the hammer, we must have had a price decline. And then hopefully the hammer will make the price reverse. If we have price action that goes, for example, sideways, and then we have a hammer, then it's not a good and it's not a valid hammer candle. Now, when we have a brief understanding of the hammer candlestick, now let's take a look at a quick example. So right now we're looking at the gold price and on the chart, can you spot the hammer? Well, the clear hammer on this chart is right here. As you can see here, the shadow is more than twice uh, the length of the real body. So that criteria is good. And we can also see here that the hammer appears after a price decline. And in this case, after the hammer, we actually saw a very nice bounce to the upside. So in this case, the hammer candle played out beautifully. Uh, and another thing I can just mention here is, is that when you actually trade, most of the times you don't want to use only candlestick patterns. Preferably, you always want to combine your candlestick patterns with other trading variables. For example, support resistance, you can use indicators, you can use divergences and so on and so on. But yeah guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you feel like you got any kind of help or value, then please consider dropping a like. And if you guys are interested in more, then don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome day, and I hope I will see you guys in the next video. But for now, guys, take care. Ciao, ciao.